All right, good day, viewers. We are back again to exciting with some good actions. And now, today is based on one of the comments from our comment section from our viewers. He has asked this question that we want to treat, we want to deal with today. He said, is it possible or how is it possible for you to escape or free yourself when somebody grabs you and drags you to himself like this? So we are going to deal with that. But before we go ahead, I want to remember, remind us as first timers, do subscribe, hit the bell and leave, a, leave your comments just as you see we are working on the comments of one of our viewers. So we'll be checking those comments and whatever you demand or ask of, we will respond to. So for our esteemed subscribers, we say thumbs up. So stay tuned and uh, let's get straight to the action. How to free yourself or escape when somebody grabs you and pull you to himself. Okay, this is how it goes. And just like I, I keep saying, I keep reminding us, please, whatever you see we do, we is with maximum caution, maximum to try to protect the open the person you are using to teach. Otherwise, if you want to do it as it should be, then you will injure the person. And the essence of teaching the, the, the world or the viewers will, will be defeated. So we have to make use of our, our volunteer to be, to at least to pet, to not to release, unleash the, the, the strength as a whole as it should be. So take note of that. So whenever you see, you, you know that this thing, there's some caution that made it to be like that. But in the real sense, this is what it should be. Okay now, it grabs just like it demanded. Now pull to yourself. Okay, now you see that dragging? It's dragging. Now what are you supposed to do? You're almost helpless. Now the next thing is grab here. Now when you grab here, go straight here and then pop here. Bam! You can see that. It seems easy and it also seems difficult. I keep saying that it's easy when you know the principle and apply it's difficult when you don't know the principle now why is it uh, possible for that to happen grab again now we are going slowly so that you understand why that thing is possible that happened that way okay now he's pulling pull to yourself okay i'm helpless now i had to hold here now holding here, if you realize his posture, he's, he's halfway, halfway balanced. Now I have to capitalize on that. Now I lock here. Now locking here, now I free to follow him. I agree to follow him. While I'm going to follow him, before he takes that step back to balance, I pack the leg. You understand? Now packing the leg, I free, I lock the hand out and then that is how that is as simple as it is you have to follow it watch it grab again drag on it drag i watch i watch i watch i try to resist then i notice something i grab i go here Sah! Bam! see that Bam! now if you if you grab if you do this thing this way now be very straight now pull, they pull, pull it, pull it. Okay. Now let this leg go back. Okay. Now from here, you can't do that. You can't do that. It's balance. Now how do you do it if you still want to do it? Now what you do is you turn and pack here. Can you see that? You have to turn immediately and pack here. Why packing here? Move as if you are moving back. Pam. See that? I am controlling him so that I won't get, get to the floor. Now, you pull, you push him to himself going back while locking and packing here. Then he goes down. Now, immediately, go, immediately he goes down. Out. All right? Okay. It's as simple as that. Please, just take note. The principle. Follow is dragging. Lock here. Grab the hand. Bring the hand. Grab the hand here. Here, firm. Then watch the leg. Immediately before he takes that leg back, firm. He will go down. Now, this 
one here, this hand here, is pressing. Down. See that? It's pressing down. Okay. All right, that's one. You can apply that, then you can apply this. Now grab. Okay. All right, now pull again. It's pulling. Now the next thing is this. Elbow. Straight here. I see that. Now when you go there, strike here. Are we there? Then stomp him on the ground. Boom! Like that. Simple. Watch again. He pulls. And I follow. The next thing, elbow strike. Your elbow strike should be in between the in, inner part of his elbow, the top and the side. Clamp together. You see that? That alone first has this stabilizing hand here. Now the next thing is, stamp here. Boom. Now you see that? That stamping, bam, goes with the lifting. From here, you can even strike here if you want to. What? Stamp him down. Pow. See that? Boom! Aye, whatever you want to do, you do it there. All right? Okay. Okay. Now we have uh, seen how you can free yourself from the body wrap. Now let's go to want to explore almost all the areas that you can grab and drag like that because this happens regularly no now let's go to the trouser the waistline now grab the waistline just like anybody will want to grab you and make you helpless and drag you and drag now has is dragging now what do you do the same way you try to resist now trying to resist you turn in because it's holding the side you turn in now when you turn in what do you do you lock here you see this? As you lock here now, the next thing is that hand is no longer holding firm anymore. Now here, pah, see that? Okay. Okay. It's true. Now let's see that again. It's gra it grabs you, want to make you helpless. Pull, 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 pull. What do you do? Try to resist. And while resisting, now turn your body in. When you turn your body in, watch here. Turn the wrist here. Come back because you need this hand. So when you turn, turn it in. As you turn it in, what you do is the punch on the shoulder at the elbow. It's a punch. But if you throw the punch, I bet you the hand is gone. So I'm just showing. See that? See that's what happened. This hand is gone. All right. Okay. Now we see that one more time. He locked. Pull. You turn your body. First resist. Turn your body in. Now when you turn your body in, lock here. You would have done it one with this. But you need this hand to take that blow. That's why you have to go with this. This supporting, then this one will actually do the action. See? It's still hooking there, but it's no more firm. Now yeah. this will dislocate the hand entirely. Bam! See that? I see that? All right. So be careful, please. If you release that blow there, that hand is gone. He has lost that hand. Right. All right. Okay. Now let's see the second one. That was from the side. Now, from the front now. Still on the shoulder. Lock with the shoulder. Because if we hold on the belt, we say, okay, what if, because I'm using... A martial art belt, okay. 
the trouser. What if somebody is now wearing this and is wearing trouser? Now, so lock the trouser. Good. Now from the trouser, now what happens is dragging. He drags, drags. He resists. Now while you resist, what should you do? The next thing is strike one here and strike two. But only one strike here can cut it. But you have to be careful. So, pa pa. Can you see that? All right. You see that? Even before you apply what you would have applied next, that strike has taken him off. Because I was waiting pa -pa, to apply again, but that strike has taken him off. All right. Now, watch how it goes so that you see exactly the spot because you have a particular area that you are hitting. Now, pull. You resist. And while you're, you're stuck this way, look at in between the elbow, the inside of the elbow, the round part here. You strike here one and strike here two. It will definitely free. Now, that strike goes both sides. Okay. Now, from here now, you can also apply something else. Pop, pop, pop. Strike, it will go. But now you may choose, okay, let me not apply this. Now let me apply something that looks a bit, maybe simple. You lock here. Can you see that? When you lock here, you take him down. All right? You see what is happening? Now if he tries to swing the hand, pam, you go there. And you're still locking. Now you see that? Now which parts or what is it that you've locked? We are going to show you now. You can try it. Ask somebody to stiffen his arm like this. And then go straight to the center of this muscle in between the elbow inside and press it down and when you press it down shuffle it I see that then if you don't want the effects to come out immediately don't shuffle it just press it down and let it go down like that now as you're pressing it down pulling down pulling down pulling down So that is it. The sensation will not allow him, will restrict him even if when he feels like countering with the other hand. The sensation will restrict him. But already, you already know that he has one part of him that he could raise. So you're already prepared for it. That is why when you saw him raise the punch, you strike. He's even worsening it because if you raise the punch, you hammer with the punch back, tap, and then strike here still this one is still on the lock the ultimate thing is you wanted him to free you and you have succeeded by the pressing of the hand the, the, the muscles in there the vein and that has been uh, successfully handled okay so if you need more questions you can drop your comments and we'll still trash it this, let's stop here for today we will come your way next time and I uh, want to go straight to uh, appreciate our esteemed subscribers we say thank you and thank you and keep staying tuned keep watching our channels and keep leaving your comments and for our first timers we remind you please always do us a favor to subscribe don't just end up watching our videos watch and subscribe then leave your comments whatever you want whatever you think you want us to show or to bring up that you've not we've not shown or what we've shown but you need more uh, clarification leave it in the comment section then we will look at it and then come up with it so thank you and thank you and god bless stay tuned till we come next time bye